It's headed to my best friend's wedding, starting with the early airport. To arrive at beautiful Flathead Lake in Polson, Montana. Basically from there, we had to start getting ready immediately for the rehearsal dinner, which was loaded with some of the most incredible food, surf and turf all the way. And um, we had this cute table set up, which is just some of the tables that were gonna be placed during the actual ceremony, dessert of course, and then ended our night on the boat. The next day was the wedding, so we started off with coffee, quickly transitioned to other things. A lot of the bridal party helped set up a good part of the reception, which was really fun, it was beautiful, came out really chic. Once the wind died down at the perfect time, it all came together. We all loved these bridesmaid dresses. Thanks, Allie. Food, delicious. I did reveal cake and I'm like, what is it? fireworks so cute and then we were already on to the next day most people stayed up so we could have another lake day all together just hanging out we all agree that that massage chair was incredible um, I'm super glad that most of us did decide to stay just because it was really nice to unwind after the two previous days were so hectic and truly just get to enjoy each other's company I'm, I have my diaper on for what for floating and drinking yeah Seeing so many of the girls, and the puppies, and the snacks. But really the girls was so special. You know, most of us did dance together in college. They are truly some of the most impactful people from that period of my life. <laughs> Water dog. Water dog. I would actually feel really good if it's Brody Scotty. And now I still had one more day back in Missoula before I got on my flight, so I went past the campus for a little bit. Of course, if you're going past the campus, you're going to go past the stadium. And also, I made sure to get as many of these coffees as I could and cookies before I got on the plane.
I was going to lay music over the rest of this video, but honestly, the natural sounds of the city were kind of doing it for me. It's definitely over 200. It's just an arc in like a This was the day I made it out to Malibu, stopped by coffee first, saw this little handsome guy. It is the middle of summer, so the weather's honestly really consistent. Every day is beautiful. Yeah, so we went up to Cafe Habana. I've really probably been craving tacos every other day for the last month, so this was necessary for me. This is such a beautiful venue, and this is for the sweetest couple, and I really just loved getting to be a part of their big day. If I had to even pick something to complain about, I could maybe say the bugs, but look at this welcome table that this couple had. It was such a hot day. The bugs were definitely out and buzzing, but I mean, come on. They thought through absolutely everything.
I have definitely been all over the place the last couple of weeks as you can see, but to round it off with some fresh nails. Climbed this hill. It doesn't really look like a hill, but when it's a eight minute journey, it's a hill. I am up here to get my nails done. Probably a pedicure if they ask, I'll say yes. Um, and I just wanted to say guys, that you should never pay for parking in any city but you definitely don't have to, even though you're in LA. I am parked maybe a block further over than where I parked last time I came here. And last time I came, I think I paid like $2 to park for two hours. Looked up on Spot Angels online, which I think they have for all major cities, tells you all the parking deals, and saw that even one further block over, it could be two hours for free. So, and I'm still five minutes early to my appointment. So, here we go. This is what we are working with. So guys, you have about five seconds to guess how much I paid. Go ahead. You're probably guessing too high. So I paid 105 for both. And I'm really not that mad about it. I kind of can't be. It's definitely a little bit higher than what I would pay in Washington, but I also know that I pay one of the lowest prices I know of from my friends in Washington. So I guarantee you any of my California or LA friends are shocked by that 105. It's really straightforward. I haven't gotten any designs from this salon, so I couldn't tell you if all the ladies there are really good at designs. You know, the pedicure itself. There's not really any bells and whistles, right? I'm not getting a 20 minute massage. I'm not getting like wax or the sea salt scrub or any of those you can get them but that would be the upcharge so this 105 is truly just for a clear pink acrylic fill and a white gel petty surprise here is the official simple walkthrough of my apartment as it stands Oh, <laughs> 